Shalhen was an ancient town in the Negev desert or perhaps in Gaza. Following the expulsion of the Hyksos from Egypt in the second half of the 16th century BCE, they fled to Shaohen and fortified it. The armies of Pharaoh Omosai seized and razed the town after a three-year siege. Chapter 1 – History The destruction of Shaohen was merely the first stage of a new policy of preemptive warfare waged by the Egyptians. Because the Egyptians of the 17th dynasty felt deeply humiliated by the 15th and 16th dynasty rule of the Hyksos, the Theban dynasty launched an ambitious war, led by Saknon Ratau, against the foreign king, Apepi, to reclaim lost territory. Though his own campaign to expel the Hyksos from Egypt failed, and he himself was killed in battle, his son, Komos, launched an attack on the Hyksos capital of Avaris. It was his much younger brother, Omos I, however, who finally succeeded in capturing Avaris, raising it, and expelling the Hyksos rulers from Egypt altogether. The profound insult of the foreign rule to the honor and integrity of Egypt could be corrected, and its recurrence prevented, only by extending Egypt's hegemony over the Asiatics to the north and east of Egypt. Omos I engaged in a retaliative three-year siege of Shaohen, thereby launching an aggressive policy of preemptive warfare. The town fell soon after the siege, ending the power of the Hyksos. His victories was maintained by his son, Amenhotep I, then continued by Amenhotep's successor Tutmos I, who extended Egyptian influence as far as the Matoni kingdom in the north and Mesopotamia in the east, pushing the borders of the Egyptian empire farther than ever before. Shaohen is mentioned in the Bible in Joshua 19.6 in the description of the allotment of the tribe of Simeon. Chapter 2 – Identification The following sites, all within the same small area along the Nahal Basor and Nahal Gara rivers, have been identified as possibly being ancient Shahen. Many scholars today believe that Tel El Farah, situated on Nahal Basor near the border with Gaza, was Shahen. Farah South was first excavated by Flinders Petrie in the late 1920s. He first identified the site as Beth Palais and published the excavation reports under the names Beth Palais I. II. It was William F. Albright that laid the basis for identification of Tel Farah South as Shaohen. Flinders Petrie also excavated Tel El Ijul, in the Gaza area, in the 1930s. He thought that Ijul was the ancient town of Gaza, a theory that has since been partially misproven. The archaeologist R. Ron Kempinski proposed identifying Ijul with Shaohen in the 1970s. Excavations at Ijul were resumed in 1999 by a Swedish Palestinian team under the directors Peter M. Fisher and Main Sardek. Anson Rainey proposed Telhera, along the Nahal Gara near the border with Gaza, and about 15 kilometers northeast of Farah South, as the site of Shaohen, as well. This identification is also supported by Donald Redford, because of the site's immense size and important geographical position.